We're pretty much one of only three or four companies in Australia that actually writes their own software uh, and develops their own software and sells and installs the hardware and supports it and the software. You got one butt to kick, right? So Senpos became the catalyst for, for the growth of the business. Um, we, we learned a lot from our customers doing, doing cash registers, uh, being in the club and hotel industry. And they basically were the, the ones that drove the product. Senpos allows the customer to, to run their point of sale, their, their stock control, uh, their promos, their member engagement, um, right through to, to ordering on mobile devices. So really it's, a, it's, a, it's one tool that can allow them to, to drive their business and make their life easier from day to day. I joined Sharp back in 2009. Uh, my role at that time was marketing where I guess at that point in time there was no marketing role. Um, we sort of saw some growth coming from Senpos and it needed someone to, to take it to the next level. I guess one of the points of difference for Senpos in our marketplace is that we have our own development team and that allows us to basically dig deeper into the customer's needs and bring out solutions with software. All our developers sit in-house, all supports in-house, the source code's ours, uh, so we can control all that and you know, we, can, we can adapt uh, very quickly to, to customers' needs and requirements. And great to know it's all written in Newcastle. At the time, Sampos was growing and we started Office Trend. Uh, that was uh, on the basis of uh, the business um, having the machine business already and John saw a need that obviously businesses were using photocopiers and obviously would need office products as well. So he purchased the business in Maitland and also one down here in Newcastle and brought those in under uh, the Sharp Group. We were successful in winning some larger business with the likes of Port Waratah Coal, uh, the Greater Bank, Newcastle Permanent Building Society, uh, winning those contracts, which um, gave us a good opportunity to show what we could offer in the office product space as well as the business machines. We pride ourselves on our service levels and, uh, and quick turnaround times as our stocks held locally here at Broadmeadow. Amongst all the new parts of the, of the business and all the growth that um, we experience and just the day-to-day -day operations, I mean, sometimes something comes along that really kicks you backwards, you know, it really, really stands up. For us, that was the Pasha Bulka storm back in 2007. We were affected here big time, like a lot of other local businesses, and uh, our warehouse and service division here was inundated with about waist deep water. And we were actually um, blocked in here. We were flooded in for the night. During that time, we were um, trying to move stock out of, the, out of the water and that. But we soon realised the amount of damage that was being caused there, it was gonna take a a mammoth e effort to try and get the business back up and running. So that night we formulated a plan. We got in contact with all the staff the next morning and they were quite happy to, to all come in. It really was a, a testament to all the staff that we as a team could get in and get the business back up and running that weekend to be open for business uh, on the Tuesday. Um, this cliche is thrown around a lot and especially in today's environment where um, it's all about the people but, but John has really built a business around the people uh, and we are a people business whether you're, it's our staff, whether it's our customer uh, or our suppliers, it, it's all about people and, and them being our asset and building relationships so it's a real credit to John and, and we've sort of developed it and continued that same um, way of thinking. Uh, I've known JD for, for well over 20 years. He wanted um, to retire from the business. He was turning 70 in five years' time and his plan was to have some sort of a succession plan around the future of the business. Um, and one thing that stuck in my mind was that um, he wanted to give back to his management team that had been with him, I think a combined of over 100 years. Um, 
and at the same time give them the ability to, to purchase the business and then grow it and get what he's got out of it. So it was just a matter of me being the conductor and, and putting the band together.